I ask people, okay, what is the purpose of business? And most people say to make money. I said, yes, economic survival, economic prosperity is part of making money. But if it's your purpose, then you're going to compromise your values. So the purpose has to be bigger than that. The name Century Marketing has its roots back in a Bible story. Matthew 8, 5 through 13 talks about a centurion that went to Jesus Christ and asked him to heal a servant that was sick. The thing I love about that story is that he showed great care for his servant, great care for his people, which Jesus obviously exhibits. He also had great faith. He believed that Jesus Christ could heal his servant. And lastly, he came humbly and he asked the Lord for help because he knew he couldn't do it. And that's the things I want us to do as a company everywhere we go and everywhere, everybody we see that that would be kind of left as a remnant for how we do business. Uh, my friend Al is a guy that loves Jesus Christ with all his heart, all his mind, all his strength. And he cares enough to say the hard things and the great things to encourage us each day. Uh, Al loves people, but he loves the Lord even more. For me, the purpose of business is very simple. It's to honor the Father. And as we know as believers, that's our role anyway. Our role in life is to honor our Father in everything we do. So it just makes sense to carry it into everything else I do. I've had the privilege of, of working with Al and our senior leaders on multiple occasions, and every single person that comes into the corporation is viewed as somebody that's much more than a number or a position to fill. They're viewed as an individual with God-given potential and opportunity. I was with the company maybe two or three weeks. There was a knock on my door and it was Al, and Al said, come with me. Al was engaged with a employee from the maintenance department, and they were talking about spiritual matters, and this employee wanted to give his heart to the Lord, and Al wanted me to join in on that. That quickly made me realize the priorities of what Al was about in running this corporation. In a lot of ways, he has no idea the hearts and people that he's touched through uh, how he you know, cares for people. He is a champion of other people in the things that God has given them. And Al has such a heart for human life and especially the unborn. I think it's important as a business person that I understand my economic responsibility, I understand my environmental responsibility to do the best I can to protect our environment. I understand our social responsibility to help create a society that actually benefits and encourages and strengthens people and also have spiritual impact with our employees and our community and even the world. It's a tremendous honor and pleasure to be a part of an organization that gives back a, a large percentage of their profits and gives it back both uh, community, uh, domestically, globally, internationally. We're all part of it, whether you're in the business uh, and running the business on the operations, but the whole business is behind ministries that are uh, going out and making a difference each and every day. Business of excellence is treating all of your suppliers, customers, employees with respect and to be treated as you would want to be treated, as in the golden rule, which is part of our mission. Not only are we seeing ourselves as uh, Christians in business, but the things we model, things we how we behave is in such a way that people notice that we uh, want to honor our commitments as God would have us honor them. The first prayer that Jesus prayed is a favorite one of mine, where Jesus starts everything with, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So we know that life is about honoring the Father. But if I've ever heard a mission statement in my life, the next phrase is a mission statement. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, Acts 1.8 says, here, there, and everywhere. It says, Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the ends of the earth. And when you take a person that was, God has called to be a conqueror, to be a leader, and you help them understand he's also called them to be a priest and a king, you just got to get out of their way because they're, they were called to be conquerors. They were called to be leaders. They were called to be builders. They're going to do that because that's who they are. It's a continued journey. Uh, life is a journey, and this business that we, we run here has been a journey for us. So we've seen God uh, exalt us in moments where we've been successful and help us in moments where we've been unsuccessful. And in all cases, God's been faithful to us and helped us see the way through. I believe that uh, what, what Al and others have tapped into, and here at CMC Group, what we're trying to live out, is the idea that like, you are who you are um, everywhere that you go, and you have the freedom here at CMC Group to live that out. And that's what really creates change in people's lives. I live life and God does stuff. My job is to live life to its fullest, to really embrace God, to embrace life, to embrace my family, just to live life. 
but the outcome is really up to the Lord. I live life and God does stuff. I can hear Al walking through the hallways saying that. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. That's Al. That's us. One of my life verses, which is Isaiah 61, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim freedom to the captives, recovery sight for the blind, release from oppression, and to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. And I want other people to be able to say the same thing, that they understand that God's spirit's on them to go do the same thing, that we can set captives free, we can give sight to the blind, we can release people from oppression. I don't know anybody in the world that can do it better than marketplace leaders because we get to talk to everybody all the time. It's a beautiful thing. Go do it.